Today we are going to be talking about resuscitation of the newborn. And there are three ways you can provide resuscitation to the newborn. A flow inflating bag, a self inflating bag, and a T-piece resuscitator. Please take a moment to familiarize yourselves with the advantages and disadvantages of these three pieces of equipment. This video is going to focus on the T-piece resuscitator. And the specific device we have in front of us is called a Neopath Infant Resuscitator. Starting off looking at the components, first of all we have an um, oxygen blender which is, allows us to adjust our oxygen from 21% to 100%. And then coming off there we have an oxygen flow meter which then is connected up to our gas inlet of our Neopath. Behind our gas inlet is our max pressure relief that's just behind this cover and then over here we have our inspiratory pressure control and our circuit pressure from our gas outlet we then have our circuit on the top of our end of our circuit we have a peep control and that's also where we used to occlude for ventilation and there's a standard 50 mil connector that will connect up to your endotrich. In order to set up our Neopuff for use, the first thing we're going to want to do is turn on our oxygen flow meter to 10 liters per minute. After we set that at 10 liters per minute, that's what we are going to want to do is set our max pressure relief. In order to set the max pressure relief, what we'll need to do is um, provide a cap or a test line to the end of your uh, circuit and then just using your finger you can end up blocking the top. What we're going to do is first we're going to adjust our inspiratory pressure limit so it won't go any higher. Open up our max pressure relief cover. We're going to adjust our max pressure relief to 30 centimeters of water. So we've set our high pressure relief. We can close our window. And next what we are going to want to do while still blocking the end, both ends, we are then going to adjust our peak inspiratory pressure. Peak inspiratory pressure is usually set at 25 to 30 for a term infant and 20 to 25 for a preterm infant. So here we've got it set up 25 centimeters of water for a term infant. After that, we are next going to want to look at setting our peak. In order to set our peak, what we do is still continue to have the end of the circuit capped. What we're going to do is we're going to adjust our peak dial up and down. And we want to set it so our peak is reading 5 centimeters of water on our pressure manometer. So now that I have my Neopuff all set up, I've gone ahead and placed a mask to the end of my circuit. And there's three things we can do with a Neopuff. We can provide free, free flow oxygen, we can provide CPAP, and we can also provide positive pressure ventilation. Now in order to provide free flow oxygen, what we want to do is we want to block the end of our green cap with our finger, but we don't actually want to create a nice good seal on our patient. We don't want to provide positive pressure ventilation. And I'm just having my mask just nicely um, close to the patient's face but not actually providing a seal while blocking the green cap and allowing all the flow of gas to come into the circuit and down off the bottom towards my patient. Next thing I can do is I can provide CPAP. Now to provide CPAP what I want to do is get a nice good seal on my patient with my mask but I don't actually want to be occluding the cap at the top. Doing that will actually provide ventilation and we'll end up going up to our peak inspir inspiratory pressure and I don't want to do that, I just want to provide straight CPAP. So nice good seal with my patient and not occluding my cap. And you can see here on my pressure manometer I have a nice good peak of 5 centimeters of water. Next if I did want to go ahead and provide ventilation to my patient while having a nice good seal what I'm going to do is occlude the top green port and when I go ahead and include that, now what happens is all the flow of gas is going to go down to my patient and I'm going to end up going up to my peak inspiratory pressure. Just want to hold it on for a second. If you hold it on for a long period of time, you're going to be giving a prolonged eye time to the infant, which you do not want to do to cause harm and damage to the lungs. Now while I'm bagging at my rate of 40 to 60 breaths per minute, 
checking for chest rise. If I ever felt I needed to increase the peak on inspiratory pressure, just slowly increase the knob, provide ventilation, and look at the changing peak inspiratory pressure. Now, doing this, I know I'm not going to go above my P max, which I've already set my high pressure relief. And same thing if I just wanted to adjust my peak inspiratory pressure down, I'm going to keep my mask on to slowly turn it down and look at the resulting pressure. If I needed to go down a little bit more, just make very, very small adjustments, come back and provide ventilation.